Hello there, it's Professor Steak. Continuing with our Audrey 2 plant monster project. You can see we're heading for this animation and the bones in action. We're going to start placing those in this one for this video so we can get that in order. All right, let's put this back to the zero. <laughs> Go to the side view, right view, turn on wireframe mode. Skeleton create joints dialog box reset. Here's where the magic happens primary axis Y, secondary axis X, secondary axis world orientation will be on the X. That is, I'm I'm going to call that the action axis. So we always know on X is where we're having the articulation for our character. I'm going to start with the center of gravity. Come up here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just clicking, clicking, dragging, and letting go. Backspace to undo and continue. Make a couple more joints here. Now that'll be the atlas joint here. We start a new chain, which will be the, I'm sorry, this will be the end of the spine. This will be the beginning of the atlas joint. Now I'm going to make an offset joint so that we can isolate this section of the mouth. And we're going to set this as close to the main joint as possible. Hitting Y again, make a bone there, and then we're going to go to our parent control, dialog, make sure it's reset, preserve position. Shift click the main, hit P. You'll see now that these two upper and lower jaw joints have a parent. The whole head will move on this atlas joint. While we're here, hit D, and move these as close as possible so that when the top and the bottom mouth or jaws, I'll consider these two jaws, will be originating from a very similar place to where as if it was uh, just one hinge joint. I'm going to call this one the I'm going to call this one the atlas joint. Atlas with an S. This will be the Main, main joint, main jaw, main jaw, joint, J and T. Copy that name. And put that on this one. This will be the upper jaw joint. And copy and put that name on here. This will be the lower. Or jaw joint. Now, of course, the tip of this one will be the jaw joint tip. This will be the lower jaw joint underscore tip. Now we have our neck chain laid out for success. We will need to label all of these joints. Joint one. We'll call it, and call it spine underscore joint underscore. Oh, let's go. Let's go zero one. That's cool. S spine copy, and I can hit the up arrow. I'm sorry, the down arrow to go up. If that's confusing, it is. <laughs> but this is the parent. These are the children, so that's why. 
that happens. They're all labeled. Just checking. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. And this will be the Atlas joint. Real strong. All right. Let's save that. I'm just saving. I save a lot, many versions. And you will understand if you use it mine enough why that might be a good idea. Goal monster on so that I can continue. I'm going to do a. That's the center of gravity. I'm going to. Set this one here, go all the way to the base, so that this pot and all the dirt can be weighted to this particular joint. I'm going to shift and go parent. It seems backwards, but it is. The last one you select and hit parent makes this a child. So to check that, you can see you can see that that is. A child. Good. Now, work on the front view and place the leaf joints. And why? Let me go counterclockwise because I like to. Well, I think four joints will be good. It's a little more than the other one, but than the previous. Let's see here. When these go into perspective view, let's see if this methodology is working. Hit F8. Yep, Y is pointing down the line here, down the pipe. And the X will be the action axis. There you go, just like, just as expected. All right. Let's make sure these are all. I get so moving so fast. Sometimes I forget to check, but I know it's working, so I didn't check. But for your sake. I think it's wise to check. And you see Y is pointing down the line. And now Y is pointing up the line. And everything's actuating on X. Good. Really good. If yours is not coming up when you hit F8, make sure that this question mark has local rotational rotation axes on, okay? And you can toggle in and out of that putting F8. It's very, very helpful and increases your speed tremendously. Front view. Okay, X, one, two, three, four. They don't have to be perfectly aligned. Uh, something like this, one, two, three, four. It is an organic character after all. And we know all our axes are correct, so there's really not much to fear here. Okay. Yeah. That's indicative of one in there in the middle, uh, inside it. So be sure we don't see the little diamond inside. That means there's a joint not knowing what, which way to go in there. Perspective view. Now, here we're going to move these move these back the thing is we want to keep the want to keep these 
the y orientation correct. So let's toggle out of this, rotate it to line up with the leaf. Let's rotate these. Can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm going to show you how to do this so that it doesn't throw off these joints because I cannot come in anymore and just select them and rotate them. You can see it's acting a little weird right now. That's I'm just getting used to it as the standard, the norm. So let's go up to this one. Let's roll this one. We're going to definitely modify, freeze these transforms. I'm doing it the way I've never always preached against this because it causes you to have zero, uh, non zero rotational values. So if you go modify, modify these transforms. Just isolate this. I'm going to have this stick around for a while. Apply. Why isn't it going? Why isn't that happening? Yeah, interesting. I wrote, modified the base one and it fixed the rest of them. All right, well, that's fantastic. Let's just keep with that. That's how it's going to be. We'll work with it. That could be slicker. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Be careful. Yeah, it does them. does them all the way up the chain. And our F8, our Y is still pointing up the chain. So let's do that. Let's just keep doing that. Careful what we select here. I'm going to put that on template mode. I have to rotate it a lot so I can triangulate in my brain, triangulate in my brain where it is. So rotate. <laughs> there it moves as expected. Just rotate that. Just Maya being Maya. I'm going to do these as a team. So they'll move roughly into the same spot. Can't see any harm in this. Let's I think I have it. Looks pretty good. A little tough to see in template. Let's put it in reference mode and see if that helps. Right, take that one up a little more. Take that one down. Now, we'll go back to this one and apply. And we can go. See, now I now have to select them after. But. The orientation of the joints are still right on. So, this is a way that works. me to move that joint individually. Okay. There's also oh, there's some, a couple joints here that you may find that to be very 
trick here. If you hit shift, it unfurls all of the subsequent children saving. So now all these are in place. Let's make sure that the orientation is right on all of them. Yep. Yes. Okay, but they're not zeroed out. There's got to be something left to do. Okay. Come on, program. I know you can work. You've worked so well in the past. Let's keep that going. That one looks like it needs work. Definitely needs work. Okay. Look good, but make sure they're zeroed out. Modify freeze transformations. Modify freeze transformations. Rotate then that one. Look, now I can't. Okay. Yes, I can't leave. It's got to be persistent. These joints look, I have no idea. Okay, let's see if. That's just, that's not, this isn't how the program works. It's just, uh, That one will will hope is right. He would come back to it. I just can't walk stand walking away and knowing that at least the rotations are right. Let's see if we can get the No, we gave it as many chances as it could. The rest are okay. Spot check. Oh that one's wrong. Glad I spot checked it. This one's okay. No, oh, this one. Must be the last one. I missed it. Let's go rotate fix. That's zeroed. That's zeroed. Now are they looking looking strong this way? Yeah. Very good. Okay. Looks really strong. I'll see you next time. It's Professor Steve signing off. Next video, I'm going to show you how to group and start adding controllers. Until then, take care.